I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! and I am excited to tell you that I finally figured out how to do a screen capture video and so this may be the first of several techie tips for you let me show you what I've got I have had my autocorrect and RGB chart on my website for a while and I'd like to show you how I use it if you are using Word you can go to File, Options, Proofing, Autocorrect Options, and then type in what you want to uh, type in this little box and what you want it to fix it with in the right box. So I have, for instance, um, I have DSP, and this is already in the box. So anytime I type DSP, it will type whatever's in this right box, and I could just put designer series paper. And if I, I think that might be a registered, so I'll put a type, hold down the control key and the alt key and push R, and I'm going to replace that. I do want to redefine it. Click OK and OK. So then whenever I type in DSP, whoops, I have to type it, and it, I am using capitals, and I press a space, it automatically replaces DSP with designer series paper, and it does have the registered trademark um, there. I love this so that when I'm typing my directions uh, with uh, Watermelon Wonder, whoops, I forgot the A, W-A-T-R, Watermelon Wonder is really a long word to type. All I have to do is type capital W, capital A, capital T, capital R, and as soon as I type a space, it types in Watermelon Wonder, capital C, capital S for cardstock, from capital S, capital E, whoops, I've got a new surface, and so the keyboard's new for me, and I make lots of typos, from capital S, capital U, from Stampin' Up! It makes my life wonderful. And so you just have to go in that one time to File, Options, Proofing, Autocorrect, and type in the codes. All the codes must be different. So you can't have, for instance, um, Rose Red. I usually use the first letter of the first word, for instance, rose red, capital R, and then the first three letters of the second word, R-E-D, rose red. Unfortunately, that's the same letters as real red. They cannot be the same. And so I changed rose red to R-O-S-E-R, -E roser. If you use my codes, I've already figured out what works. You can't have it something that's already here. Um, stamp, uh, Microsoft has already put a lot of typical mistakes in here and that's the way it's usually used but uh, you can see that I have used it to my advantage. The other thing that's on my chart in the font that is Watermel Watermelon Wonder Stampin' Up! would probably be quick to say that this is not an exact match um, we, if you take a picture or scan some Watermelon Wonder cardstock and then import that into My Digital Studio and then match the color, this is what comes up. And so you can actually um, type uh, a letter and print it out for the inside of your card. And I often do that for my Christmas cards. You can also put in um, a shape 
and any shape. Let's put that and then put that into the to Watermelon Wonder. Now I could go back to more fill colors like I did before and type in the R RGB code. But because I've already done that once today, it's already a recent color. So all I have to do is click that and it's already Watermelon Wonder. I can put my shape that same color and now I've got a pentagon that is Watermelon Wonder. If you're doing a table, you can fill in your table with the same thing. I'm going to ins insert a table and fill this one cell, for instance. Um, I can fill this cell with Watermelon Wonder and it's still a recent color. So maybe you've seen some of my charts and on my RGB code chart you can see that I filled in those rectangles with the colors so you can see what they look like.